Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything Android say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to some more scam news. Now I was reading through this earlier today and it seemed pretty interesting and I was kind of talking to myself about it, if I'm going to be honest. And then I decided to turn on the recording. I don't know if this is going to turn into anything, but in case it does, we have another episode of scam news. And today we're going to talk about injury recovery procedure. Now apparently the injury recovery is going to get a bit more complicated. Now I've read through this here piece of paper that we've gotten this here piece of information and it doesn't seem all too complicated but we're going to go through it and I'm really excited to see what you guys think about it. I think it's going to be a bit of a challenge which is not a bad thing at least if, for me. Now we all know that right now we can literally heal ourselves with rag stripes simple rags, band-aids, we pretty much have three or arguably four healing items, we have all the rags and the band-aids and then we have the painkillers in case we get a bit of a limp in our step, if we get, in, get shot in the leg, we're gonna start limping and popping a painkiller is gonna help us out. Right, but no matter if you get shot by the robots, by the people, get hit by a zombie, it doesn't really matter because a rag or a band-aid, rag strips, whatever, they can all heal you up. Right, it doesn't matter if you use a bandaid or a rag, it's still gonna work out. But it seems like this is not gonna be the case for too long. Because we're gonna have a new injury recovery procedure. Now of course this is like an early thing. It is, this is probably gonna be subjected to a lot of changes. But this is kind of how it's going to look. The first thing that the players need to do is to stop the bleeding. Now the bleeding can be stopped with several items depending on the severity and the player's skill. If the wound is not critical and doesn't need stitching, it will immediately enter the stabilization phase. We took a look at phases not too long ago. We have three phases and those phases are untreated, stabilization and recovery. Now if the bleeding stops, the wound still remains within the untreated section, but it indicates bleeding stopped. If the wound is not stitched up and if the players keep pushing it by performing tedious and exhausting actions, the wound may start bleeding again. There is a chance of like three and between three and five percent, depending on your like conditioning, like depending on your condition scale. Now the three and five percent is per minute. You have like a, a chance between three and five that the, the, the bleeding will, will start if you just kind of run around and try and dodge bullets. Once the injury is being successfully stitched, the wound will enter the stabilization phase and then the recovery phase begins. To stop the bleeding, the following items can be used. So right now we have rags and band-aids, right? And it seems like we're gonna get three more healing items. So we have rags, can be used in a pinch to control the bleeding or bind an injury. There's a high chance of wound infection per use. Dirty rags can be used also, but the infection chance for them is plus 75%. So you're gonna stop the bleeding, but you're gonna get an infection. Now the band-aids, they have the same effect as the rags, but they are sterilized, so we're not gonna get infected, or at least there is a low chance of infection. And we can also craft the band-aids from what I'm seeing here. It says craft bandages from the sterilized rags with alcohol. And then we have a new healing item, which is a pressure dressing. And again, it's uh, pre-packaged and it's sterile, so this is not gonna give us infection. Then we have the, the hemostatic band-aids or powder, it's an instantaneous uh, bleeding control pretty much. So this is like a high tier healing item pretty much. And then of course the last one is the tourniquet. Uh, this is to control critical bleeds. Now all these items can be used with any skill level, but depending on the skill level and the wound level, the procedure will take more, <laughs> will take more items and take more time. Now the players can also combine different types of items to patch up the wound. Now this thing here looks a bit complicated, but after looking at it for a little bit, I think I understand it. And it is, it's not all that hard. Pretty much you have five healing items, starting from rags and going up to tourniquets. Rags are pretty much the low tier healing items and they go up and up with band-aids, pressure dressing, hemostatic band-aids and tourniquets. And depending on what healing item we use, we are going to receive different stats and it's gonna take more or less time. And we're gonna take an example from this here I guess chart we could call it. Now this is a class one bleeding. So for example, we get banged up by a zombie. If we have only rags 
and if we have no medical skill, it's gonna take two rags in order to stop the bleeding. If we have basic skill, same thing, two rags. Medium skill, one rag. Advanced skill, one rag. We get no stabilization bonus. The procedure is gonna take five seconds per rag and we have a 15% chance of getting infected. Now the skill that we need is of course the medical skill which is going to come in the game pretty soon as well. So depending on what skill we have and what item we use, the more time or the less time is gonna take, the more or less infection chance we're gonna have. So the rag is pretty much the basic one and if we go up to tourniquet which is pretty much the best one, it just requires one tourniquet no matter what skill you have. Uh, it's gonna give you a bonus of minus 45 seconds, so your healing is gonna take 45 seconds less. The procedure time is gonna take 5 seconds, and then infection chance is gonna be just... And it's the same for all uh, bleeding, so if you have a class 1, 2, 3, of course the higher your the higher your bleed, the more rags you're gonna need, for example. So if, if, we, have, if we have a class 5, well, we're gonna need 5 rags. <laughs> for no med medical skill and if we have an advanced medical skill we're gonna need two or one it says here. So depending on our medical skill and the healing item that we use, uh, this is going to give us different healing times, different bonuses and different infection chances. It says here depending on the medical skill, the wound stabilization duration and the chance of infection uh, may be altered and the following numbers apply, stabilization and infection. So from this little chart, pretty much at zero, that's the medium time that it's gonna take. So le for example, let's say that the medium time for a bleed to stop is one minute. Now, if we have no skill, no medical skill, it's gonna take us 20 seconds over the one minute. If we have basic skill, it's gonna take us 10 seconds over the medium time or the predefined time of one minute. If we have an advanced medical skill, it's gonna take us less than one minute. And if we have an advanced plus medical skill, it's gonna take us less with 20 seconds. So that's pretty much it. What we can get from all of this is that the better our medical skill and the better the healing item, the better, <laughs> the better our healing procedure is going to go. And it also looks like we're gonna get a new location down in Z2. It's gonna be a hotel, it's called Hotel Marina. And it looks pretty cool, it looks to be very deserted, kind of run down. I think it's gonna be like a huge area as well. Yeah, we're gonna get a new location down in Z2. Some new locations are much needed down south because besides the Z2 missile factory or torpedo factory, weapons factory, whatever you wanna call it, and the small town in Z0, it's not really much you can explore down there, so new locations are welcome. And it also looks like we're gonna get some new helmets, and I was taking a look at them. The ones on the right, uh, I could take them or leave them, but the one on the left, the black one, with the mask as well, oh, looks it looks very nice. I really want to support that around because I'm a fan of masks, it looks, looks pretty cool. But yeah, I think these are the things that I wanted to speak about, mostly about the new healing procedure. It's gonna get a bit harder, but I feel like we're gonna get used to it pretty pretty fast it's not gonna be too complicated but yeah it's gonna be harder it's gonna be a little bit more complicated than the the one that we have right now in the game but yeah it's gonna get it's gonna get all survivory like because <laughs> this is supposed to be a survival game right it's why we play it of course the gunplay is incredible but the survival part of the game is lacking at the moment and i've said it before and i'll say it again personally i feel like I'm, i am in a very comfortable place when it comes to playing scum I know my traits, I know how to handle them, there is nothing really that uh, makes me all that jumpy. Of course battles are always exciting and it gets my heart pumping, but on the survival side of things, uh, it's lacking right now, but it's gonna get a bit crazy. And I know some players are not gonna be happy, but I feel like a lot of older players like myself are going to be happy to have to worry about more things and make the game a bit more survivor-like. You know, everybody has their own opinions and their own taste when it comes to to things like this but time will tell of course this is going to be subjected to a lot of change and of course if the players are going to hate it you know that it's gonna get changed up but it's pretty much like the first draft of how things are, are going to look and it got me a bit excited because i want more survival things because 
we've done the battles quite a lot <laughs> and they're fun at all but I'm looking for a different shade if I'm gonna be honest we've done the battles we've done the robberies and now I'm, I'm feeling like a bit of a change is gonna do me is gonna do me and a lot of players good because I don't want to say that things are getting stale but for a lack of better word sometimes you end up running around and nothing's really happening you're you don't really need a lot of food a lot of water uh, the zombies are really not a threat and if they do hit you once or twice once or twice you can just use a rag and you're fine so so in my opinion I think these are these changes are gonna be very welcomed but yeah, that's about it for today. I hope everybody enjoyed. In case you did, be sure to drop some stuff and things down below. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much for hanging out. And I will see you in the next one with some more video games.